Hello, how's it going? Welcome to my under 3 minute review of the Huan NJ X99 AMT motherboard. This year I needed to build a new compact MATE XPC for game dev and machine learning and research. One of the processors that offers the best value for money is the older but still good Intel Xeon 2678D3 server processor which has 12 core, 24 threads, 30 megabyte of cache. Which in addition to DDR4, it is compatible with the cheaper DDR3 memory with practically no performance hit. Which means I needed to find an MATE X99 motherboard that supports DDR3 with an NVMe M2 slot. Most companies don't produce X99 boards anymore, but as you know, the Chinese company 100 still does. They have the X99 AMT for under 70 US dollars, which just just that, as you can find on AliExpress. Additional details: 8-layer PCB, 4 USB 3.0 ports, one PCIe 16x, which I use for my RTX 2060 Super, one PCIe 4x, which I use with the NVMe M2 adapter to have an extra drive. The Intel 760P. One PCIe 1X, which I don't use because too close to the GPU. That's a downside. RG45 gigabit internet card as well. Please note that I, since it only supports DDR3, the list of compatible processors is quite restricted. If you need to support two GPUs, there is the X99TF. TechSCD channel has a great review about the TF. Check it out. And if you need dual CPU, the X99F8D is for you. Combined with the 2678V3, and two Samsung DDR3 ECC 16 GB models overclocked at 1866 MHz. It offers one of the best bang for the buck. Look at these awesome Cinebench scores. You can even build the emulation of the high rise map from Unreal Engine Shooter Game Example in 2 minutes 45 seconds. About the length of this video. Under heavy load, it is quite stable. I train machine learning models on games that use both CPU and GPU heavily for the entire day with no stability issues. Linux support is functional. I have Ubuntu 1804. Only downside is that your debug log will be spam with these if you use an NVMe adapter on your 4x slot. There is no practical consequence, but you can reduce the spamming by disabling memory mapping configuration at boot. Link for the fix in the description. Temperatures are cool even under load, but only one sensor of the motherboard works. The rest gives faulty results. Finally, the bias is American Megatrans. It's serviceable with standard options, but I only use the memory clock selection feature. If you want to turbo unlock your Xeon, you need to hack your bias, but I haven't tried since I prefer stability. Micon's hardware has a tutorial, tutorial on how to do that and much more details on Huan NG boards. Conclusion, very good value for the price with minor downsides. I love it. Thanks for watching.